excellent analogy. Uh, do you see the 14 nanometer transistor limit as being a good thing for decentralization or a bad thing? I think it's a really good thing. So to, to repeat the question, if you didn't hear it, uh, do I see the 14 nanometer limit of transistors? Basically, what this means is that we've seen this enormous increase in the hashing capacity of Bitcoin, specifically the proof of work network, um, because it's been catching up to Moore's law, and now it's slammed into Moore's law, and Moore's law appears to be like a wall. Um, it's a very good thing for decentralization. What it does is it extends the shelf life of mining equipment from two to three months of usable life cycle to almost two years, which levels the playing field across all of the participants in the system. Until now, um, the determinant of success in mining was how many kilometers you were from the fabrication lab, how fast you could get that stuff out of the lab onto a truck, from a truck into a warehouse, and hooked up to 50 megawatts of electricity. And that means that all of it was within about 100 kilometers of the semiconductor fabs, or 500 kilometers. That's it. Because if you try to put it on a ship and move it across the water, it leaves your shores as a fantastic mining equipment, and it, it arrives in California as scrap metal three months later. Um, but if you have a two-year shelf life, you can now re-decentralize mining to take advantage of differences in electricity cost. One of the really interesting opportunities is renewable energy that has cycles of demand in it. For example, you have production from solar or wind or hydro. That production is fixed. You, you get this many megawatt hours coming out of your pipe all the time. But the actual consumption in the distribution network changes over the day. Right? What do you do with the excess capacity? One opportunity is to think about taking that excess capacity and using it to mine Bitcoin when it is not being used for consumption. Essentially, that is energy you would be generating anyway that would be completely lost. And now you can convert that into Bitcoin. Uh, effectively, Bitcoin is a battery on a virtual blockchain.